Hello, everyone. It's so nice to have you with us today, and I am excited to um, have our second webinar today. We had a very successful go-around yesterday, and today we are excited to welcome Lita Cruz, Senior Director of Sales and Development with Helms Briscoe. And uh, Lita is uh, standing in today for Danielle, who was called into a client meeting. So, Lita, thank you so much for joining us, and uh, we really appreciate your efforts and Danielle's efforts to continue to um, really have this collaboration going on between Helms Briscoe and DMAI. Well, thanks, Terry. We appreciate being included and um, love love the collaboration as well. And you know, Danielle says she was pulled away, but who knows, right? <laughs> who knows where she is, right? <laughs> on a plane. Hey, right. everyone, I do want to let you know that Elaine Rockliffe from DMAI is uh, monitoring our question board today. So um, we will be able to take questions at the end of the webinar. If you're having any technical issues, you can type them in to Elaine. She's happy to um, help you there as well. And uh, we would also like to welcome Stacy Esslinger, and Stacy is a proud and accomplished um, HB associate um, who's going to talk to us a little bit later about best practices with DMOs. And we have with us today also um, Melanie Hoover from um, the Fort Worth CVB. And Melanie as well will be uh, sharing with us some best practices from a DMO perspective about how to add value to the HB relationship um, just a little bit later. But uh, Lita and I are going to start off by really trying to talk about our joint efforts between DMAI's Empowerment Outreach and HB, and how you can, as an HB associate, really take advantage of the destination expertise, maybe some of the key ways in which you can hopefully ease your frustration a little bit in this seller's market. And then again, have the privilege of listening to Stacy and Melanie give us some um, tips as we finish up. So, Lita, give me your thoughts about, um, you know, this collaborative effort where uh, we've been waging for the last couple of years and, and where you think we're at today. Absolutely. Um, you know, I mean, I think we see our industry has moved from a business model of exclusion to one of collaboration, as you mentioned. And so, you know, where we used to be, I think we saw each other as competition where We've now moved to this great environment of building trust and working more closely together. And you know, we feel that by working together, we're creating smarter RFPs, we're saving everybody valuable time, and you know, the end result is really enriching our clients' overall experience. I agree. Um, Lita, I've given you mouse control, so let's see if you have that. I'm not sure if um, you're able to forward or not. Let's see. There you it's go. Oh, how excellent. Excellent. So now we can both move our own slides. So um, I so appreciate that, you know, that vote of confidence that we really are continuing to move that needle to one of collaboration. And from a DMO perspective, and, and DMO, yesterday a couple people were saying, what is that? So CVB is um, the acronym. Like, we need some more acronyms in this industry. CVB, obviously, Convention and Visitors Bureau. But as our roles have changed in destinations, some um, destinations have moved to calling themselves destination marketing organizations because really their whole role is to market both leisure and group travel into the destination. So we do use the terms CVB and DMO interchangeably. But I kind of see this big divide, if you will, between planners, um, in this case HB associate planners, and all a destination has to offer. And kind of those opportunities just sort of blowing down the river, if you will. And who's going to build the bridge? Who is going to be able to build safe passageway to make sure that an HB planner truly understands everything the destination has to offer and um, can really avail themselves to all of the opportunities and maybe even at the same time avoid some of the pitfalls. So I see that really as our continued role. And, and I know your, your partner program is just so successful and, and continues to gain momentum. And thank you. Yes, and you know, and to add just even to your last comment, 
um, you know, our HB associates really do see themselves as a client. So working with DMOs who, you know, we know and trust is rewarding to us because it's helped not only um, on efficiencies for their daily business routine, but it's also provided, you know, much better experience and, um, again, the opportunity to collaborate is right, right there and, and building the bridge to do that. Um, that's really why we created the Helms Briscoe Destination Partner Program, which was officially launched in 2010. And, you know, honestly, we didn't even know how successful this program would become. Uh, but as of October of this year, we have more than 130 destination partners in the program. And, you know, we've seen, we've seen growth not only in HV production, but also we've seen a significant increase in HB leads sent to the destination partners. So, you know, we love seeing this because we want to include DMOs in the search right from the start of the RFP process. And, you know, along with this growth, we're seeing strong relationships of trust being established and also, you know, the clients are benefiting overall as well. And there, yay. Okay, so as you see here, you know, the program was actually built on this fundamental value proposition of combining the power of our HV network with the power of destinations to enhance these relationships by, you know, leveraging CVB expertise and services, you know, and also increasing client confidence and enriching our clients' experience. And we want to, you know, increase HV leads that the destination, the destination is included in right from the start, as I mentioned. We also want to build long-lasting relationships between CVBs and associates and ultimately convert more business. So you know, we made and go ahead. Lita, it's, it is just so cool to see how you have, and you're going to demonstrate here, but how easy um, you've made it within um, the HB systems to locate and get good information on um, partners. Absolutely, Terry. You know, we realized that we needed to make it easier for our associates to find our partners, and we really do have an incredible infrastructure of systems for our associates. Um, and this, what we're looking at here is our intranet site that associates use to help their day-to-day -day business. And our partners are easily found here. Um, we first, oh, let's see, I may have lost, here we go. There you go. Too fast. Um, we actually build, you know, the partner profile first, and then we also include the link to empowerment site for our you know, for our partners. Um, this site, we started including this last year, and it's such a great resource to associates with so much, you know, so much useful information, and we just love having access to it. And Lita, we're not going to actually take a tour of empowerment because we did that last year, but to those HB associates who um, haven't been to the empowerment site or maybe haven't been lately, um, there's four tabs there for each destination, and one of the new pieces of information that we have there is a direct news feed, um, news that pertains to new hotel development, changes in the destination that are meetings related. So if you're looking for what's new in a destination um, on the destination uh, profile homepage is a great way to garner that new news as well. Mm, it's a great tool. Um, let's see, I, my click through is going a little slow, but here. So here's, here's a look. We also have HB Insight, which is our proprietary database that combines collective knowledge and expertise of our 1,200 associates around the world. And you know, each DMO partner has a listing here. We also have um, any reviews or ratings from associates or clients. And then also a partner profile with contact details as well as a direct link to their empowerment site, as you saw on the, the previous on our intranet site where we build the partner profile. That's cool. So, I told Danielle yesterday, I didn't realize that that associate ratings tab was there. And that's really, um, a, you know, kind of a nice reassurance. And um, I, I think it's a, it's a great ad. It is. It really is. Um, and, you know, this is, it, it, this is all great information about, you know, destination partners, at the thing, having them at the fingertips of our associates. But, you know, we talk about what's the next logical step for an associate. And, you know, would it be to start building the RFP? That's probably what we would think of next. But what we are now saying, I right, see, what we're now saying is, you know, stop before you go do all that work. Pick up the phone and call or email your DMO contact and ask about dates and hotels that you may not be familiar with or really anything that um, they may be able to offer that, that we're unaware of. Um, so it's really taking that one additional step to get across the bridge that we mentioned earlier. So, 
you know, we have a clearer picture from the local experts on whether that business opportunity really is even the right fit. And, and I, you know, this is, go ahead, Terry. No, I was just going to say that, you know, we talk in our partnership with Cvent a lot about decreasing what, you know, is becoming known in the industry as ERFP spam, right? Um, mm -hmm. RFP sent out over dates that are sold out or, um, you know, RFPs that are sent to hotels that might even not be able to accommodate the group. So we do feel, um, you know, that waiting, you know, to just take that extra step to make the phone call and to get some good destination intel before you start to build the RFP can really save a lot of time for everyone. Right, right. And it's, and it's actually a new step that we've introduced recently that that speaks again to the more collaborative environment and really should be a time saver for everyone. So, so once this has all been done, you know, we can then go into CVAN, as you see here, and um, build the RFP. So this is an internal look um, into CVAN called HB Connect on our end. And as you know, you know, HB destination partners get priority ranking in the search results and show up first in their metro area. So they're actually on top of mind when associates are sourcing the area. The check mark to the right, as you see, indicates a partner, and they are very familiar on how to work with not only HB but other third parties. And just in case the associate misses the, you know, including the destination the first time, there is a destination expert prompt that pops up before they send the RFP as a reminder to include the DMO in that search. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Um, and when our associates were asked uh, in the annual survey, how often do you include a destination partner in your RFP, more than half said most of the time, which is fantastic. 32% um, said sometimes. And in addition to asking associates, we tallied up the CVENT RFP searches and determined that at the end of 2013, a CVB was included 70% of the time. So it's a huge increase from only 18% when the Destination Partner Program was launched in 2010. And I, Terry, I know you and I were, and Danielle were talking about this, that Roger Helms address, uh, addressed the DMOs during a session at this year's ABC. And he said, you know, while we aren't able to necessarily mandate our associates to include DMOs on our RFPs, we want to encourage and direct them to do this because DMOs are such a valuable resource to us and it really can help the HB associates increase their productivity overall. So yeah, we, I, that, yeah, that's what came out of it for me was Roger mm -hmm. saying this is a productivity step, right? This gives you more time to make more money, to have more business, to better serve your clients, and, and to not spend your time doing things that there are good resources in the destination to do for you. Absolutely. And, and I think what we found is, you know, we can see the increase here of 70% and, and see really that the, the trust has been built. Um, and that really has helped this whole thing happen of the including the CDBs right from the start. Um, it's really helped it happen organically. And we see the increases, but we're also still working internally to see more. So, but that's why we love working with, with you all at DMAI and really appreciate the education that you provide to the DMO community. Well, I'll take that 18 to 70 percent increase <laughs> in, in any initiative that gets delegated to me. Those are pretty good numbers. But at DMI, we do continue um, our outreach and our education to our CBB sales professionals. We have a series called The Evolving Roles. And a real tenet of that um, education is about building trust through transparency um, with all our planning partners. And it's really important to have a conversation and um, to really make sure that everyone knows how we work, what we can do, and um, how, we'll, how we'll fulfill on our promises. So we really do feel that we're the best first point of contact to help you find the right fit for any size meeting. And, you know, a lot of times, um, you know, the planner says, well, if I need multiple hotels, if I need convention center space, then I will go to a CBB. But maybe if it's a small meeting or I already know what hotel I'm going to take it to or if I'm going to work with a GSO or an NSO partner, I don't need to um, involve the CBB. But so I guess the benefit to doing so is really getting that extra local expertise and being able to leverage those in-market relationships. And the services are free. They've been paid for by those vested in tourism in the destination. So they're not free 
to the H, or they're not free in total. They are paid for, but they're free to the planner who wants to use them as a resource um, to be educated and to be facilitated through the destination. So our goal this year is to really talk about our actions. How can we as DMOs take on a more consultative role? And our goal is to become more inquisitive, make sure that we're asking all the right questions, um, that we really are a driver of your business in our destinations, and we avail ourselves to you as a consultant. We're not trying to take over. We're not trying to take your client. We just want to make sure that we can act as your consultant. And I never hold a, a customer meeting without a planner saying, well, you know, really, everything's at my fingertips with the Internet. Do I really need to involve a third party? Um, and for that, I say somebody's got to help you filter, right? We live in information overload. So who's going to help you filter down all the information? And things look very different on advertorial sites or on paper sometimes than they do in reality. So a CVB is a great filter for all the information um, that you're collecting in the beginning stages. And Terry, I was just going to add too to that, that you know, we're in, in the seller's market and um, we're pretty fortunate to get the responses um, from hotels, mainly because of our brand strength and reputation. But, you know, having that well-researched RFP will definitely get a better response and utilizing the, you know, CVBs as a resource is a great help to our associates. Yeah, Lita, and Chimo and I have been doing some um, planner sessions at, we did one at MPI and ASAE and CMP Conclave this year. Maybe some of you even sat in on this session, and it's called RFP Reconstructed. And we had such great turnout and such great response. And basically what we did was position CVB sales professionals as RFP ninjas and have them sit one-on-one -on -one with planners and say, how could you improve this RFP for my destination to get a more quick, timely, and competitive response. Each destination is different, and the criteria that might be important or popular in one destination may be quite different somewhere else. And we see really that your CVB expert is the person that offers to you um, historical demand and occupancy. You know, they can tell you about seasonality. They can tell you about special events that are coming up. That might be a positive for your group, might be a hindrance. They can tell you about citywides. And, you know, sometimes citywides are a good thing because maybe you have a group that's a little space intensive. But if they can marry you over a citywide, you could get more space that has committed a, perhaps a room only block to a citywide group. They also are good arbiters of business and leisure and transient demand, so they're able to help you understand um, you know, arrival departure patterns, things that are going to greatly affect the rates that you can garner and the availability that you may find in their particular destination. And Terry, one, one thing I would add to that too is you know, we, we have seen this market shift coming and um, been working with you know, associates the last 18 months to really help them better explain the changes in the marketplace um, to their clients and what they can realistically expect from hotels. And we now, you know, and now we need to sell to uh, sell the business opportunity to the hotel and know we need to provide as much information as possible so that we can, um, you know, include everything we need to on the RFP, whether it's history, auxiliary spend, or really anything else that would help get that RFP noticed by the hotel. Absolutely, and different hotels even have different criteria within a specific destination. So all that finessing um, prior to sending out that RFP certainly saves everyone a lot of frustration. And right. I know you guys are getting some good response, um, but the number one thing I hear uh, when I'm on the road is how come I cannot get people to call me back or get uh, you know, an RFP response in, in a timely manner. So you can also use your CVB sales professional to help you track down information, to enforce due dates for information, um, and, and keep yourself from having to do all of that legwork. And, and without a doubt, I know this one comes up constantly on your HB surveys, which is use your CVB sales professional to help you um, determine the logistics and put together all the phases of your site inspection. 
Absolutely. Now, if I can just add to this too, you know, assistance with site inspection comes back on our annual survey every year as the most valued service a DMO can offer. It, you know, it allows our associates to be engaged with their clients during site visit and not really not have to, to they don't have to worry about the logistics. And it's really something special and powerful for our clients to see when the associates and destinations are working together to make everything come together. Um, HB is just, we, we've actually just launched a very cool site inspection app for our associates to use while they're on property. So this makes the CDB's involvement even more helpful. That's great. I'd love to take a look at that app. I'll have to ask you to give me some more information on that. Absolutely. So that kind of tells you about our outreach and education. Um, why don't you fill us in a little bit about how um, you're continuing that same, um, you know, one-two combo in, in terms of HB Associates in the DMO community? Absolutely. So just like DMAI, we provide ongoing education and outreach for our associates with education at the forefront to create more destination awareness. Um, and this is actually ongoing. Um, as you see here, we work hand in hand with DMAI to provide education for both associates and DMO community. Uh, several things our program, program provides uh, access to associates in order to build awareness through our internal communications. And some of the internal communications I'll go through, I just clicked and I'm not sure it's not advancing. Can you try on your end, Terry? Absolutely. Thank you. So here you have your Partner Plus. There you go. OK, so this is one of our internal communications, uh, Partner Plus e-newsletter, which offers exclusive promotions to our associates and clients from our hotel and destination partners. We send this out on a weekly basis, and it, it really arms the associates with offers that they can present to not only existing clients, but potential clients that they, where they want to win their business. And many times, they'll forward this on to their clients. Cool. Mm -hmm. And let me try one more time to advance that. The next one, Partner Buzz, is also an internal communication that we send out once a month to our associates globally. And this is something that uh, our associates can easily forward to their clients as well. So we include a feature or highlight for new hotels and destinations in Partner Buzz once they initially become a partner. And the destination partner names and hyperlinks remain in future editions for quick access to their partner website. And we've also now enhanced this so our DMO partners can submit content. And then we do a partner on, uh, like a partner spotlight for that destination. And we provide, you know, they can provide anything new and exciting, whether it's new inventory, attractions, or whatever it is to bring them top of mind to HB and our clients. Um, I'm here forwarding I'm, for you here. Yeah, yeah, no, thank you. I appreciate it. Um, so here's the, uh, the client e-newsletter. And while Partner Buzz is for associates with the ability to pass along to their clients, this was designed to, um, by our communications team. So associates send it directly to their clients. It's actually they build a database of a cli our clients' um, email addresses and send it directly to them. So with this communication, we've added a feature where we'll highlight a destination along with other industry articles and hot topics that we include in the publication. And one great statistic that um, I just found out today, um, year to date through, really today in 2014, associates have sent more than 50,000 emails to clients with this newsletter. So it's really a great way to increase exposure. That's wonderful. And I know you've asked DMAI. We've written, Shimo and I have written a couple of articles um, on how DMOs partner. Um, with HB Associates, and we, we appreciate you kind of asking us for that kind of intelligence to continue to educate your clients about how we work together. Very cool. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, the next uh, one initiative that we really love are these in-market presentations, and these are done by our leadership team in their respective regions with the DMO partner to their hotel community to help educate on the value of our partnership and how to work better with HB. Um, the, this is what you're looking at here are a few screenshots from the presentation that we used. And we've really had some fantastic feedback and seen great success with these presentations. Um, they really help showcase the value of the DMO partnerships with HB and also help answer those questions from the hotel community of what have you done for me lately, which I'm sure no one has heard, right? <laughs> <laughs> never, never, never hear it. But you and, and Danielle, I know, so often say it all really ultimately comes down. You know, we can have all the education. We can have all the, 
bells and whistles of electronic communication, but at the end of the day, really, we all are, um, you know, have to be out there building these relationships with each other. Right, exactly, and, and we're not going to cross that bridge together without having each other's back through these long-term relationships, and, you know, it's really fostering confidence and trust. Excellent. So with that, you know, it's one thing for us to say it, but hearing it directly from associates who are working with um, DMOs means so much more. So you're, here we're taking a look at really just quotes that say it all. So, you know, associates work with this CVB consistently makes me look good. They're professional, well-organized, and well-respected well by the hotels in the area. NYC and company um, went on site visits with me. Just before the day was over, the contact suggested one more hotel. With one phone call, they were at the hotel on a site visit, and the client loved it and booked it, which is fantastic. Um, the CVB was helpful when the client was doing sites. They accompanied her on several appointments, did not try to take over or diminish the importance of my role. Great response and follow through. Uh, this, I recently engaged with uh, this CVB for a sizable corporate incentive. They went above and beyond to arrange site visits and provided a meet and greet at the airport. Personally toured the hotels in the city with my client, provided insight into local culture. And, and this is great. I mean, one of our favorites, and really very simply put, is just I enjoy working with our destination partner because who knows their city better than they do and who is more enthused about it. Well, that's um, great feedback for Orlando, New York, Atlanta, and Puerto Rico, and, um, <laughs> and all the destination partners because I know there's just some great response going on in, in a lot of cities, and we want to encourage that. And in that vein, I'd love to invite Stacy Esslinger, and uh, would you like uh, Lita to introduce Stacy? I would love to. Thanks. So it's my pleasure to introduce Stacy. Stacy's been with HB for 13 years and is not only one of our top producers, but she is also regional vice president for our Rocky Mountain region. Um, and Stacy's going to share her experience working with the DMOs. Thank you so much, Lita. Uh, this is Stacy, and. I've been with the company for a long time now, and it, it's interesting to see how everything has shifted. Back when I started, we really didn't have very many relationships going with our CDD partners that we have now, and I just think it's so wonderful. We've really um, come a long way with it, and we value it. It really helps us with our clients and to bring everyone together, and, and you guys are the experts, and it's so nice to have that behind us when, when you know your city so well. Um, we, we've really been working hard to go out and tell our associates so that they know, you know, the leads aren't going to be sent out to everybody that might not be a vendor that we need to be in touch with right now. Um, so we're working really hard on that. And then also, um, the w before we even build the RFP, what we're recommending is that they go uh, to their CVB contacts and talk to them first uh, to save some time so we can make sure that we're not sending out an RFP that's for dates that are filled and save the client time on that side of things too. So I think that's helped a lot just because that will save so many people so much time and clients are really happy by that. Um, I have a great success story about a partnership um, where we were working with the Nashville CVB. Uh, we booked a citywide that was 20 hotels at the very beginning. And at the beginning we copied them on the RFP. And then during all of this the client ended up growing into a whole lot more of hotels, and it was craziness. So with our partnership there, we were able to work with them, find more hotels, and keep the client moving along and not have them stressed out and worried. Um, and really, we just all got to be great friends, and I trust them fully, and they took great care of our clients. So I just think those relationships are so important, and I always recommend to all my team that whether it's for one hotel or for 20 hotels, copy them on it. I think uh, they're the experts. They can provide a whole lot to us uh, for clients, whether it's uh, brochures or things they're doing in their city, and they just know it so well. So thank you. Thank you, Stacy. And I love that, you know, sort of problem solving. I had an HB associate tell me recently that, you know, they ended up having to cancel a meeting that outgrew the hotel and how instrumental the CBB was in problem solving and helping them deal with finding another location and, and satisfying the hotel that the meeting had to be canceled. You know, problems occur, things happen, and, and, and having a nice partner in the destination is, 
is pretty great. And I'd like to now uh, introduce, uh, and I'm going to unmute for her, Melanie Hoover. And Melanie is the Assistant Vice President of Meeting Sales in Fort Worth, a great city and a great CBB, who was named the um, HB Domestic um, Partner of the Year um, for 2013. And Melanie, I'm wondering if you might share from your perspective how um, CVBs can add greater value from a best practices standpoint um, to HB Associates. Yes, thank you, Terry. And um, my, uh, myself, I've been with the Bureau 21 years, and prior to that, I was with hotels. My last property was the Hyatt DFW. So I've been on, on two different sides, and it's, I love working with Helms Briscoe, because uh, again, majority of y'all have been on the hotel side or me, uh, meeting planning side, and working with you um, independently has been, has been a great success story here in Fort Worth. Um, we're, you know, we say those just don't start without us. We can save you the time and, and, and the money. Um, we have um, resources at our fingertips, including our um, Simple View, which is our CMN. And since we have about 130, Helms Briscoe has about 130 destination partners, I would say at least half of them use Simple View. So we all have the same opportunity to look at a group rooms control book that's been booked in the city. So we could immediately take a look at what's going on before your RFP goes out um, to your partners. And then we can also look at our convention center calendar so to help you pick the best dates um, and get quicker response um, as opposed to going back and forth if there's a citywide in town or a big race, like in, in our case it's NASCAR or when there's a TCU home game. Um, you guys may not realize that, but we certainly as a, a DMO know that, know that information. Um, we know what the climate's like. If you've got a customer that all you hear is Texas is so hot, well, that's July and August. But we have other, you know, other months that we can help steer your client to take a look at if they think Texas is too hot at that time. One of the things that I love to, to share now, we, we've drilled down on ROI for so long, that it's the, the comeback is ROR. That's return on the relationship. And I think Helms Briscoe has is, is helped bring that to life. Um, the friendships and um, partnerships that I've made over the, the last 12 years is just, again, it, it, it was an honor to, to receive the award from HB. And um, we like to talk the talk, walk the walk with you. We love doing site inspections. In fact, when we do our site itineraries here, we put Helms Briscoe's logo on the site, uh, site agenda. When you can't be here with the customer, we refer back to HB. We'll run this through your, um, your associate that you're working with. Um, again, another way we can save you some time and money is um, Resourcing you if your client needs transportation costs for an off-site event or, um, for example, here, Billy Bob's, and they want to get a, a cost, we can send that lead out on your behalf. We can either have it come back to the HB associate or if the Helms Briscoe rep wants us to send it directly to their client, we can do that as well. So that's just the name of a few benefits um, that we have. But in closing, I will say each Convention and Visitors Bureau or DMO has free things that we offer. Um, whether it be free assistance um, with people helping with registration during a convention, stuffing bags, take, taking name badges. Um, each city has specialties that they offer through housing. Um, and then also, I, you know, this came up a lot at IMAX with what's going on in our, you know, in Texas. And unfortunately with the Ebola breakout, we've had so many customers come back to us, do you have anything in print that we can share? I have a client that's coming to North Texas next week, and they're, they're worried. And so we were able to pull our resources together through the U.S. Travel Association, through the county and the city and the state to have a statement to give to you to share with your customer, which was very helpful for a couple of our customers. Great, Melanie. We really appreciate um, you kind of being our industry liaison and, and speaking on behalf of all CVBs today. and. Uh, and we had you know, a good time honoring you as um, the domestic partner of the year, but we also know that all of um, the DMO partners are um, similar in their approach and their desire to extend relationships and, and work well with HB Associates. So I want to um, get to some of our questions, but I know that this will be one of them, so I might as well get to it now, that you have earned a half hour of, of CMP credit. Be patient. We'll get your certificate by the end of the week or, or next week to you via email. So you want to check your spam if you don't get it, because it may have gotten lodged in there. We'll also send you a link to the recording of the webinar if you want to pass it on. And I know that uh, 
Lita and Danielle said that they would also be posting those um, links as well on the HB side, and we'll be posting the link on the Empowerment blog. There are some good questions, though. Um, Elaine, I've, I've got a few that I'm going to pull up, and then if you see others that I miss, let me know. But Janice Ross, our very good friend um, in Eugene, is asking a question of Lita. Lita, is there a um, minimum size of, of, of a market or number of hotels um, that a DMO needs to participate um, in an in-market presentation, and how do they schedule that with you? There isn't, is not a minimum size, and um, we would just, if you just want to reach out to either Danielle or myself, and we can get that scheduled with our local leadership in the area. Okay, great. Janice, I hope that uh, you'll take the chance to do that. Um, I thought that um, Michelle had a good question. Um, Michelle is asking, um, is there a way, you know, this is also for you or for Stacy. is there a way for a DMO to know their partner rating within the HB um, internal system? Well, um, this is Lita. We, we have, you know, on our HB Insights, the proprietary database that I mentioned uh, with collecti the collective knowledge, we have a way there that we can sort, um, you know, sort and look into the rating. So if you just reach out to us, we can look into that system and let you know. Okay, that's good. Yeah, and I think that the partners should be interested in knowing what their rating is and, and knowing how they're perceived. Um, mm -hmm. It's a good tool, and, you know, I would want to know. There's, You'll like this one, Melanie. Um, I, I think this is a question maybe for me is why are we so um, partial to Fort Worth? And <laughs> so I won't hang that one on Melanie. I'll hang that one on myself. I personally asked Melanie um, because of their award with HB if she would represent us. Um, as an industry um, leader and would also give us some um, insight into maybe some of the particular practices that led to their success. But as I said before, um, there are many partners doing great things and, and I don't think that it is um, a, clearly specific to Fort Worth. Here's one. Um, can we elaborate on what access Let's see, hold on. Can you elaborate, Lita or um, Stacy? either one, can you elaborate on what access HB Associates have to Simple View? I don't know. It's for myself. This is Lita, and Stacy. you might be able to add something to, to this. Um, I don't know that we do have access to Simple View. No, this is Melanie. Um, that was in reference to if we had any hotels, um, particularly on the call, but so HB Associates would know out of the 130 preferred hotels, I would guess half of them have um, the, use the same CRM for our websites and our database for our customers. And I was referring to that we have a tool that's in our database that shows the group room control book in our city. But that would be at a DMO level. Mm -hmm. So what you were referring to there really would be an HB Associate advantage that um, through um, your connectivity with your hotels, you would be able to give um, the HB planners information. That is correct. Yes. Okay, cool. Well, Lita, Stacy, Melanie, I can't thank you enough. If you have any burning last questions, we'll take them on the board right now, but I think we've um, exhausted at least the ones that were put in. Lita, thank you so much for doing a wonderful job today, filling, not filling in, but being, <laughs> your, own, being your own great person um, and uh, filling in for Danielle and Stacy and um, Melanie. Thank you so much, and uh, we really appreciate this continuing partnership between DMAI and Empowerment and Helms Prisco, and we look forward to continuing to come together and finding new ways to engage and, and add benefit for all parties on, on all levels. Thank you, Terry. Thank you, Lita. Thank you. All right, everyone, have a great day. And again, look for your um, CMP certificate and your link to the recording um, next week in your email inbox, and be sure to check your spam. <laughs>